Hello, my name's Natalie and you can usually find me outdoors or stretching on my yoga mat. Welcome to part two of my solo hike Falmouth to Plymouth. In this series, I share my experiences and beautiful sights along the way. So subscribe if you wish to follow along and join the community. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy the journey and see you in future videos. Last day on the trail. And for that, I am grateful because I feel like I've hit a bit of a wall uh, mentally and physically because everything is hurting quite a lot. <laughs> Mostly my back. Um, my legs are fine and my feet are okay. Um, but anyway, last day, gonna make the most of it. And. Um, yeah, should get to Plymouth. Should be 250 miles. Which um, is quite difficult to sort of digest. <laughs> oh, but I will be thankful when I can stop. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to crack on with the day. See the sea to my right. It's a lovely day. No rain. Should be pleasant. It's so beautiful looking at these lush green hills. And you can see the route where I have to go. It's down there. Up. I think when this is over, I'm really going to miss the sound of the sea. So relaxing and just meditative. And it's very soothing on the eyes as well to watch. Just taking it all in at the moment. So a lot more hikers out today and left to the next town is three and a half miles. I just climbed or well, climbing up this hill. See the milestone there and the sea to my right and onwards. Currently at the top of a cliff and gonna have to go all the way down along up and around. So pretty. at the edge of the cliffs. Oh, feeling all right. Little poops, but feeling strong. 